Today I'm watching football in Europe's worst tourist destination. Europe, regardless of what some American sitcoms seem to think, is actually quite big. There's 50 countries in total in the continent. Well, technically it's 44, but no one is coming here for hard-hitting geography facts anyway. Well, I mean, I hope not. If you're here for geography, it goes somewhere else. However, one specific tourist destination in Europe gets a lot of stick. Is that needless? Is it justified? And it's where I'm currently stood right now. Benidorm. Yes, Benidorm is a part of Spain known as the Manhattan of Spain and it's often looked down upon by a lot of people. Is this criticism justified or is it just classism from people looking down at others having a good time? Well, I'm here in Benidorm to sort that as I'm here to watch the football, soak in the culture. They've got a club here called Benidorm CF. We're going to go watch them in a couple of days. We're also here for a full-on weekend to soak in and see what the city and the culture of Benidorm is all about as well, as well as their football culture too. You know, you're getting everything. Textbook, it's textbook away days. Is it? Probably not, no. Just before that, here are some fun things on screen I've read online about Benidorm. It tops the list of uh, pickpocket hotspots in Europe. A review said it basically feels like a large pug, and another one said it feels like Blackpool on steroids, which, you know, I quite liked Blackpool. Is this all waffle, or are the cliches true, or is it somewhere in between? Welcome to away days, and welcome to Benidorm. Here's the hotel we're staying in. Bristol Hotel. Good bit of Spanish culture. I'm joined by Kieran and Ed, by the way. Uh, welcome to Benidorm. I'm excited. It's my second time here. First time here when I was about eight years old. Everyone will know me. Yeah. <laughs> I am f***ing buzzing. I'm going to love this. I can tell I'm going to love this. The audience is going to be shocked. Nice bit of Spanish culture there at the Robin Hood bar. The shirt is the talking point, but it is funny, isn't it? Like, I'm not taking it. It's just funny. Like... This is funny. Yes, I mean, come on. I'm offended, to be honest. Are you? Yeah. Why is that? I'm just really hurt by it because the colours and the, the, the word and that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I think it's great. The other bit of the rumour is that it might annoy some people. <laughs> we didn't really think that through. And you also both told me you were going to get it as well. <laughs> well, and you were being serious, so I didn't actually think you were going to get it. You're gonna have to blur that, but let's just say, um, yeah. <laughs> so, what we've been in Benidorm barely any time at all, and initially, it's not just the British stereotype, there's loads of people here, there's Spanish people here as well. What are people on about? I mean, there's a lot of British people, yes, and a lot of British pubs and theming, but it's not just Brits here. No, there's one or two other people, <laughs> Irish. Yes. We found a spot for lunch. English breakfast, snack food, dessert, sangria and cocktail. Look, my rule abroad is never eat somewhere that's either in English or has photos in the menu. You can't escape that here. I'm um, being honest, my plan until game day is to just get absolutely battered. Not physically for wearing the shirt. We're, we're also at three o'clock going to go to this restaurant which has uh, scantily clad women dancing. We're not going to do that. We're not. We're not. <laughs> Cheers to Benidorm. Uh, look at that for lunch as well. Kieran's gone very patriotic. Ed has gone, I'm not sure what that even is. Um, is it the most tragic thing in the world that that one sex on the beach may have hit me a little bit? There's a place called the Guinness Bar. Kieran is a man who loves a Guinness. I do love a Guinness. Just quickly, first impressions of Benidorm in one word. Warm. Yeah. Sticky. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the stickiness of the place later. Before I continue the manly tradition after a sex on the beach and I got a, um, a lemon and cheesecake ice cream. The manliest football fan of all time. There's a, a lot of Dutch signs here as well, so there must be a lot of Dutch tourism in Benidorm. You never hear about that, do you? No. Well, because we're in England. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Supermarket with English products, then famous English products of tackies. All right, we've had um, alcohol, and I think we are also on about four hours sleep, so we're gonna go nap and then attack the Benidorm night. What? <laughs> <laughs> attack the Benidorm nightlife. Just like Churchill when he said, Have you ever taken them on the beaches? <laughs> Hello, guys. We're gonna go on a night out in Benidorm. I'm gonna to switch to my phone. I don't know what happens or what this place is like on a night out. We can, yeah, I can imagine. That is loud. 
Let's get loud. loud. To be candid, I feel quite ill. Um, not alcohol ill, just ill ill. There's a winner's sports bar and grill. I once again still stand with the fact that like, I could I could come here on holiday and not judge it. So like in that sense, I've been to much worse places. It's a new day. Um, Alfie, just rewind to an away day we did in Germany a couple of weeks ago, please. And then there is beer, but I'm not drinking at the moment because of some medication I'm on. Yes, so it turns out, you know, you're not supposed to stand in the sun in the medication either. And you're not probably supposed to have a couple of sucks. I thought I'd get away with it. You can't, which now means um, last night I was very ill. Not like drunk ill. Just ill, ill. Got another day in Benidorm before the game day, so we're gonna do some local things. Um, but it also means I have to do it all sober, which... Uh, we're gonna get breakfast first, and then we're gonna go and soak up the sights. Restaurant Moncho. I really, I'm a big defender of the baked bean, but visually it leaves a lot to be desired, a lot. Good boys go to heaven, bad boys go to Benidorm. Who is saying this place has no culture? I don't get it. I mean, I, I get that it's, it's not it's not full of, but there is there are there is culture here. I'm just saying out loud, like, some new words. It's actually um that's a nice. hair. It's actually a shampoo advert. Good. Come on, that's yeah, good. That is good. Why is there a Rayo Valadoid car driving down the promenade? That is unbelievable. People are betting like 30 to 50 euros to guess where a bit of Play Doh is under a potato. 50 euros ago. Hold it. One. Hold it. Just, just lost 50 euros like that. That is mental. What a stupid way to lose 50 euros over a potato. A potato and Play Doh. That is idiotic. That is so stupid. <laughs> we found a uh, stag do in the, in the distance there. Um, I do, yeah. Fair enough. Maybe it's fashion, you never know. Modern, Ellis, get with the programme. We're not all, you know, wrapped up in this, that and the other. Some people like to let it out. <laughs> let it out. Kieran's made a good point. The, um, the Union Jack has been rotated 90 degrees. So, um, are people annoyed about that? Tampering with the flag? I'm fuming. I'm actually, I'm going to be... Would you like to um, angrily tweet about it? Yeah, I, I'm gonna. And you know what? Because Elon Musk now owns X, uh, he's gonna let me tweet it because free speech rules supreme. And uh, I might tweet some other things on my mind as well. <laughs> some facts about Benidorm because so far right I mean we'll talk about this more into details but I'm having a good time if you ignore the fact that I was critically ill last night not critically had a poorly tummy <laughs> 832,115 British citizens visit Benidorm every year it's one of the main locations for the widespread use of bikinis it's known as the New York of the Mediterranean New York. The most popular and probably well-known tourist attraction here is known as um, the Sticky Interactive Show, which used to be known as Sticky Vicky. Um, but you see this really funny graphic now over there on the screen, which says the legacy continues, because obviously Sticky Vicky sadly passed away. R.I.P. Vicky. Uh, but she's passed down the mantle to her daughter. For those of you who aren't familiar, or if you watch your families, sorry if you have to explain who Sticky Vicky is. We're going to try and watch that tonight because obviously people want to see me reacting to that if we're in Benidorm. I'm never going to come back. So, but also just on that note as well, people talk about this place and we've gone for the worst destination because it's what it's known as by a lot of people. It just has to be people who are like just really classist because this is no different or worse than Tenerife. And I've been, I spent a week in Tenerife, I've had a good time. And also, it's the sun, it's cheap to go to. It's a cost of living crisis. Stop looking down at people who enjoy things and just let people enjoy them. And that's coming from me who enjoys nothing. So, you know, let's get her out and explore Benidorm. We're taking a bit more of it. And then later we're gonna go watch a woman shoot some things out of her fa Look at this. You ready? There she is. <laughs> really should replace that with Charles at some point, shouldn't they really? Found the Valadolid Than again. Give us some noise. This guy as well. Sports bar, they've got Man City, you've got Norwich, Ipswich, and you've got chicken wings, beer. One more, could you? Ah, oh, maybe I am the least likely Benidorm fan of all time, but I am a fan, you know. Call me Madge Harvey. 
Today's been very glorious so far. What a day we've had so far. Today's been very nice. I think we've heard rumors we can be able to get a Benidorm CF shirt, an official one, in the center of Benidorm. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the shop and try and get a shirt and pretend that didn't happen. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes I do, I've obviously been making the point throughout this whole video that I think Benidorm has more culture than people think. Sometimes you then see a building like this and you're like, mm, <laughs> maybe Ellis is lying. <laughs> How much do you reckon it's going to be? 72. Because I will never wear it again. Why not? I will, I love this club. Sorry, what is the price for the Benidorm shirt? 59 Oh, it's great, yeah, I'll take it if that's okay, yeah. please. Thank you. Shirt acquired, and also, buying the shirt got us free, free tickets for the game tomorrow. So I might stick with the pub. The shirt was 60 euros, but we got free tickets for the game. That's sick! The fact that there is a pub called Churchill's Pub in Benidorm is uh, fantastic. Helen's Bar, home of Mansfield Town Supporters Club, Benidorm. Fantastic. Jesus Christ, look down there, it's like a full on strip. Oh, there's a strip club as well on the strip, Playgirls. Okay, there's a Yorkshire Pride pub there. Next to Planet Benidorm, there's some big thrusting going on there. There's the Rover's Return. Isn't that one from Coronation Street? The Rover's Return, Star Wars sex show. There it is, 11.30. Christ, Sticky Vicky, half 11. Never been offered more drugs anywhere in the world. We've got everywhere, lots of sniff. Do I look like I do? You do, a little bit. I look like I live at my mum's still. Yeah, well. I don't. All right, leave me alone. Being honest, this part of Benidorm is um, sort of what I thought it would be. We'd avoided the nightlife till now because I got ill yesterday. And I don't like this part of it. I'll be honest, I'm not really enjoying this so far, if I'm being completely candid. Kieran thinks this might be his worst nightmare. And it's up there, it's a bit of a fever dream, isn't it? Yeah, I really did, actually didn't think it would be this bad. But I think we've stumbled onto British Nightlife Square. I've never been trying to be so drunk more than I have in the past 10 minutes. We're in the minority by not doing drugs. Yeah. It's always the second line, it's like... It's we are so out of place here now, and I've just realised how out of place we are. a cold call, and then you can tell they're reading a book, and they're like, okay, that question, say no, then, they, then you ask that one, then you yeah. ask the other one, snip. <laughs> or skunk. What is skunk? I don't, who has skunk? What is it? It's an animal. animal. But they're often as Charlie, they're often as all sorts of people, and... Oh, what's the people? <laughs> Cheers to um, whatever this becomes. God. I want to go um, Later, I'm about to see a woman do amazing things with her body. <laughs> oh, oh. How, was, how was Loch Ness Fun Pub for you? I'm going to cover every single drink I buy. This is Pete. Just kids knocking about. We've seen families just walking about with, with prams and stuff. Which is nice. They're going to go to the baby in the pram. Come in here for a free drink. Actually, no, sorry. Do you want any sniff? Do you want any sniff? Look how uncomfortable what we're about to do is. I like watch. You might be thinking at least there's a good crowd. You ready? This is the total crowd for this show. It's a crowd of two, three including me. No one is here. There's more people working here than there are in here. <laughs> Here's the Benidorm main tourist attraction. Here is a compilation of our faces throughout. My boys are so concerned. We're about to see a woman fire ping pong balls out of a... What little hen! No! Hey, what's happening? It's not in! Don't it! No, it's in. You got it. Mortified. And you know what? You know they say like it's a family so she's sticky Vicky that's your daughter, family business. At what point in life do you just go, what do you do for work, mum? It's like, oh I work in like paper or something like that. It's like, oh no, I do this for a living. And you're like, oh I want to do that. People enjoy what they enjoy. 
and whatever. Like, you do you, be happy, but that's not... Let's watch football tomorrow, I'll enjoy that. Because I've seen things I can't unsee. Like, what was that? How... The snake. Some of the things that were inside that woman's body. It's game day. Right, so before we get into this, I want to say a huge thanks to this video sponsor, Memento, for making this video possible and also some incredible journey to season possible. Like, Boca Juniors against River Plate, and now we're here in Benidorm today, and it's all been made possible. Thanks to Memento, and if you're not familiar with what Memento is already, well. Do you ever wish you could remember every single football match you go to, even the 0-0 the nil -nil stinkers in December? Well, thanks to Memento, you can. The Memento app lets you log every football match you've ever been to. You can find out how many matches you've watched, how many stadiums you've visited, and how many teams you've seen play, and much more. It covers pretty much every global football league, including women's, plus some of my US viewers. You can also track the NFL, NBA, baseball, hockey, and college sports. You can download the app via the link at the top of my description. It's free on both iOS and Android, and it genuinely is the perfect companion for any sports fan, wherever your sport of choice is, and where we've got loads of football fans here, obviously, but if you're a fan of another sport, it also allows you to track and document every game you've been to, and once again, it's completely free. It's amazing. It's the perfect sponsor for away days. It's the perfect companion that's allowed to make all these trips possible and make my own mementos and memories too. So huge thanks to Memento for sponsoring this video. Let's get off to the stadium and soak in Benidorm CF. Game day, right. We can pretend yesterday didn't happen. We've arrived at the stadium. It is myself and Kieran today. Ed is not joining us. We're at the Estadio Guillermo Amor. I believe is a player who, by the looks of it, played for Barcelona at one point. Maybe he's from Benidorm. Here's some quick facts about Benidorm CF and what the club is actually about. Because remember, we are, we are a football channel. There was an original club in Benidorm called Benidorm CF, founded in 1964, but that was dissolved in 2011. This club was officially called Racing Club de Football Benidorm, but merged with Atletico Benidorm to become Club de Football Benidorm. It's owned by David Villa. Yes, David Villa. I want to just say as well, I think he's one of the most underrated strikers of all time because, ah, uh, what? He was so f***ing good. This club are very low in the Spanish pyramid. They play in the Valencia Community League. However, they are top of the league and flying. Here are the season standings as well. They are, they actually could secure the title today if things go their way. So that would be nice. It's not going to happen because we're here. They'll probably lose one nil. Finally, we're not really sure whether it's going to be an English or Spanish heavy crowd. One thing I'm sure is I think it's going to be fun. It's hot. It is too hot. But then I'd be, I'd be moaning if it was cold as well. So let's get inside. Maybe get a little snack, a drink and three points. Up the Benidorm. I love wherever you go in the world to watch football, there'll always be a sticker of a random club. Why is there an FC Cologne? It's always cologne. It's, all... it's always bloody cologne. <laughs> Every single time. We're inside, and this view, by the way, this stadium. Remember we went to Braga and said it was... Wow. We went to Braga. It said Braga was Europe's most beautiful stadium. This is really nice. A properly nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Braga can off. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to. But I could just make a dash for it. I could. It would mean nothing, would be pointless, but I could make a dash for it. I'm just, I could do that. Once again, like, we've discovered that Benidorm is great if you're into the, a bit of cheap sun. Not the nightlife. The nightlife Benidorm is exactly what I dreaded. The football, this is beautiful. The stadium view is amazing. We're going to see some, like, low-level football, which is great. I think this is just, so far, really nice. More enjoyable than a lot of the way I've had. This is Norwich's goal music, isn't it? Yeah, you can see Nicar Road and this comes on. You ready? The worst noise in football. <laughs> and it's like, no goal scorer for Norwich City. <laughs> Number nine, Grant Holt. It's like he comes up to Samba and it's Grant Holt who scored the goal. Good options there are really interesting. At half time, I'm going to have to get one of these. Christ, that looks amazing. The VIP zone is amazing. It's just cordoned off with the food and a microwave. That's great. That is top tier. Wherever you go in the world, there will always be a Leeds fan. And I love it. Just there. Doesn't care about the loss yesterday. I'm really hot. Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Why do they should make like Benidorm, but cold? They should do a little colder version. And then maybe call it England. Yeah. <laughs> There is, the, I mentioned the old club with Defunct, that is the old club's badge. 
it's quite nice they've still got the remembrance of it. It was also quite concerning for the future of this club, that that club was here for 40 years and still failed. So, a bit of positivity for you there. A bit clip art, but cool character. Wherever you go in the world, there's always leads. There's always leads. That is phenomenal. What a club. <laughs> I don't know how much a VIP ticket is, but they're having a great time in there. It's like a, when you go to like a nightclub and it's like a private section. That's, that's how it, that is amazing, just how many people are in there. Would hate to be in there, but it looks amazing. The team look quite young. Yeah. No chance to win with them. There I am over there. There they are. Benidorm CF against Heracles B. Come on. Things get better. <laughs> Benidorm. Oh, I thought other people would do the charm. Oh, there's another drum. The next to a Notts County fan. <laughs> this place is so weird. It's like a fever dream. Notts County fan next to a Spanish man with a drum. I don't know, I had a really funny image thinking of. You know, like in the Euros, they have the car that delivers the match ball. Yeah. They just have oh. Vicky go out to send us I knew it, yeah. I, I did the maths in my head and I was like, what's he? Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Don't do the sound effect of that. The lines was like, I forgot my flag. And she goes, yeah, no, yeah. you haven't. You haven't. <laughs> this guy's t shirt. Don't like me. Got problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is everything I thought we'd see here. They're just giving out Red Bull to people. That's amazing. You move over the Duracell bunny, there's some Red Bull bunnies. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, it just rhymed. We, can we get a Red Bull? I didn't really like Red Bull, but if it's free, I love Red Bull. I don't really like Sticky Vicky, but because it was free, I love Sticky Vicky. Can we stop talking about that? We have to stop. I actually felt, well, I actually like, washed my head before I went to bed. Can we get up too? Thank you very much. Red Bull for free. The ticket was free. Oh, just... Oh, God, I can see why Brits moved to Benidorm. Yeah, on pitch hasn't been great, being honest, but it's in the sun. I've got a Red Bull. My heart is going like mad. Um, that's what I mean, you know, like oh, some of the substances we were offered yesterday. Just drink a Red Bull if you want to just get your energy up. It's going to be a bit of a road shout, and it's going to be really weird to so, say, my left armpit is really burning. You can't say that anymore. Burn your left armpit. I don't know. You've been walking around like this all weekend. Actually, <laughs> it's really weird. I think about it. I like to tan the left armpit. Uh, on pitch action, there's nothing. What do you expect? You know, <laughs> this guy's really injured. I bet he's not going to be really injured as soon as the play stopped. He started banging the floor and rolling around a second ago. He's had his back tapped. I love the generic football global language of tap your back, get up, mate, you're fine. Oh, just what is the? Just get up, mate. It's not even like you can't even go. Oh, he's paid like he's based a Heracles B, but it's like just. What are you achieving then? You're not paid to do it. Just get up. Newcastle fan man has now um, whipped his shirt off and he's just shouted to the line of he's f***ing offside, man. Get your flag up, man. Which is so... What a country. What a country. There's a terrible challenge here. And I've, I quite like the guy who's done the awful challenge is rolling around on the floor as well as if he didn't just commit it. He could have bloody killed him. I could have been killed. There's going to be a goal here, by the way. Got it right. It just feels nice to win one. A win for the big guy. I can't stop thinking about sticking Vicky. <laughs> right. This isn't going to be a goal. There's no chance. Bang. Oh, no. Please hit me. Hit me, hit me. Half time. Like I said, the on-pitch action has been amazing. One 0 to Benidorm, but just like these tickets were free. Yeah, I, I just think that's just because we're just pretty cool guys. We got re we both got recognised in the shop when he was buying a t-shirt. And honestly, well, they recognised me more than than Ellis, but um, it's fine. We're all at different levels. Nothing's happened in the game. It's been really interesting seeing a club. Like I said, stereotypically, you'd look out with and people are oh, they'll have no fan base or they'll have no X Y Z, and they just oh they do but the fan base here are great it's like it's just a nice community local non-league club we've just spelled a lot of myths about Benidorm and then at the same time we also had the worst experience ever so it's been a really weird trip this when the sun goes down and the moon rises don't leave the hotel yes enjoy Benidorm until about eight o'clock and then do not because you're gonna get just the worst of the world at you unless you're like the worst bloke ever yourself you might love it yeah at night 
but that's on you. We've moved to the other side for the second half. I don't actually really know why, but we've sort of done it mingling. Went to the toilet, we couldn't be bothered to walk back round. <laughs> yeah, the toilet is there. And I mean, it's an absolutely mental walk all the way round there. It's like, we're not doing that again. And I actually now, we annoyingly can't see the game at all. I don't think I'm being unreasonable here to say of all the places you could have stood. You know what I mean? Like, there is other places in the stadium because the, it's quite nice with the drum over there. You've got the little atmosphere bit. This is a better atmosphere than I heard in the Bernabeu, in fairness. I keep looking at the Leeds flag and I bloody love the concept I was for. Right, it's packed for Benidorm. Uh, should we go watch the game there? Uh, have you packed the flag? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That man has been hurt in an area that... Oh, not in the willy. In the willy, oh, in the Nyonto. Yeah. And it's not even the worst thing we've seen this weekend. That's the worst thing, but he's really just making it clear what area it is without... Oh, this, this is the only time I've ever seen something like this happen at the football. And of course, it's in Benidorm. <laughs> I think there's nice palm trees at the stadium. That's quite nice. Classy touch. Oh, if that makes the video, we really are scraping the barrel. <laughs> it's a good, interesting thing. So obviously, Benidorm were playing Heracles B today. Uh, just going to jump in here and say, they're called Hercules. Why on earth have I been calling them Heracles? I hate myself. What on earth is that? That is awful that I've done. I, I say it so many times, by the way, guys. You're going to get sick of it. I'm sick of it. Enjoy. Benidorm were playing Heracles B today. There cannot be an away fan here. Surely no one is like, oh, who do you support me? Yeah, I support Heracles B. Um, I don't prefer, I sort of fell out with the first team and just love Heracles B. And also, this is a great thing for me here. Do not ever put B teams in our pyramid because they shouldn't exist and it's bo There are some Heracles fans up there. They must be mothers of the players though because they're not. What? Why would you support Heracles B? That should be a pen. He's not, he's saying... No, he's not playing, he's not playing. Oh, just an know. unbelievable challenge. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's an unreal challenge. So I think it should be a pen. Wherever you go in the world towards football, there's always a man with his arms crossed. Just analysing. Just taking things in as if he's the manager. Plotting his next move. No, 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 no. This 17 backs himself as well. Well, he shouldn't. Well, there we go. He shouldn't back himself. Really feels like Heracles have found themselves in a sticky situation. Oh. Not for the first time this trip. That's like that woman we saw last out of the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Well, he's gone for it from halfway. Shouldn't have. There's a guy there in a Heracles shirt. I don't get that at all. Well, maybe I'm just an idiot, but you just you can't support a B team. You can't. Unless you support Heracles that much, you then come and follow the B team. Even still, it's like, it's a Sunday, just, just chill. I know he's left in this game of football. Someone's pulled up with cramp. He's about to blow the full-time whistle. That's so needless. There's a lot of whistling going on because this guy's down here. But I, I, I mean, he's, he's clearly fine. Oh, full time. Big win for Benidorm. There we go, full time. Benidorm one, Heracles B, nil. Benidorm, never again. Vicky was very sticky. The football was okay. My takeaway is don't look down on it as much as people do. I quite liked it. And I'm not gonna judge anyone for having a good time. Never been offered more substances in my life. So maybe don't go out at night. It's a bit like the gremlins. During the day, fine. At night, you're getting offered sniff. <laughs> ciao, ciao, bye.